Hoffman, can you hear me? It's me, Stablin. Open the door. You see, I told you. Hoffman! Open the door! Maybe we can try breaking the dance. It's a very heavy door. Maybe off again. One, two, two three. No. Let's go. One, two, three. Once more. Two, three. Er ist tot! Er ist tot! Ich weiß nicht, was er ist. Warum nicht I'm sure you want to see this. He's alive. I will call an ambulance. Please touch nothing. Nothing at all. Wait a minute. It took all of our combined strength to smash through the door. It was bolted from the inside. Even the windows are bolted closed. And there are bars on the windows. How can anyone get into a room like this? Anyone or anything. Except maybe a vampire turned into a bat. They couldn't. Not the chimney. Nothing can get through a fire like that. My lawyers are finished with you. You think Dracula was a nice guy? You have done a splendid job, Inspector. I'm only sorry we didn't listen to you in the beginning. What is it they say about a prophet in his own backyard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Well, let's get on with it. Hey, wait a minute. You're arresting Alice and Troy? That's crazy. Maybe the Inspector knows more than we do. Uh, you yourself led us to the burglary tools, and the rest fell into place. What do you mean by the rest? We found the floor plan to the Louvre Museum in Paris in the trunk of Mr. Troy's Rolls Royce. Well, then they must have been planted there. What do you mean? Last night during the concert, I checked Allison's car personally. The bands, too. Maybe I shouldn't have done it, but you guys were checking the hotel rooms. I thought we should cover all the bases. At any rate, there were no plans. Well, if it wasn't there last night, then it shouldn't have been there this morning, unless it was planted. Like the burglary tools. I kept an eye on Allison and the manager all night. They never left here. You better listen to him, General. Otherwise, they turn this town into a hole in the map. Dummy, put your money in trampoline centers. Do a TV special in Transylvania. Well, what's it going to be, Big Shot? Are you ready to admit you're wrong? If there's the slightest chance, I mean, we couldn't afford a litigation of this sort. Inspector, there's got to be a connection between the robberies and the assaults on Mr. Berger, my father, and the mayor, especially in light of the planted evidence. I agree. I agree. There's no way in the world anyone could have gotten into that room last night. What is it, Hans? My friend. You realize there's only one alternative. Only that some supernatural force. No supernatural force. Only a diabolical mind. Whose? What is it? Say it! If no one could get into that room to incapacitate the mayor... Right, yes. ...then there can be only one explanation. I'm not sure I like your tone. I could have been killed. I wonder. Is it coincidence that each victim so far has been found just in time to save his life? Or is it that you yourself would go no further? Jensen. Colby. What is he saying? Is he accusing me? I will repeat my first question, Mr. Mayor. How did you get that minor little wound in the neck when you were in a room locked from the inside with no possible way for anyone else to get in or out? What 
he say? Did he have an explanation? What explanation could he have? Only one person could have inflicted that wound on the mayor. The mayor himself. He's under technical arrest. But why? Why would he do it? It seems that our mayor had political aspirations beyond our tired little village. Oh, Hans, we will need someone the town can stand behind to fill his shoes. Yes, we will. Hans, will you consider it? I? <laughs> I have no political ambitions, no. Precisely why you're the only logical choice. You, who have never sought the office, are the only one to fill it without it appearing. Oh. I will do as the council wishes. Good. Come, gentlemen. Pen. I jot it down to use when I'm old enough to date. When you're old enough. From what I hear, your evenings make Dracula look like a day person. Well, I have been known to stay up to 11 o'clock. <laughs> Before you scare the girl to death, maybe we should say our goodbyes. You really have been a big help. Well. Well. They're doing it again. Look, Bess, I know I'm not quite as glib as old Frank, but uh, I do know how to say goodnight. Well. Well. What are we doing back here? Joe, Dad would want us to follow through. The case means a lot to him, and he's not out of the woods yet. Neither are we. What are you talking about? The case is closed. Is it? I, I, oh, Frank, I... Frank, this isn't such a good... Let's go. Come on, Joe. 